this one's fatty, in the blue. Yeah. Hey, it's Barry Upton here at Nongpru Municipality Stadium where I'm with a football friend of mine, Morgan Kent, and he's, uh, you're from the east end of London, aren't you? Of it's course. A, it's a Tottenham fan. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. So we'll just I'm establish that. that first. I'm a front wheel skid. Front wheel skid? Yeah, okay, front right. wheel skid. Now tell us about growing up in the east end, you know, we're come coming from the east end of London. Well, in the east end, uh, it was good because all you had to do was take a ball of chalk, down the frog and toad. Boil the chalk down the frog and toad. Yeah, yeah. and then and then you find a little uh, petrol bowser. Right, yeah. Right? Or, or a, a battle cruiser. A battle cruiser. A battle cruiser, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so like, like a boozer. And uh, you... <laughs> because everybody talks like this, don't they? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's where you come from. Yeah. And now you can't stop. No, I can't stop now. Right. I can't stop the bunny. Yeah. If I try a bunny, Proppy. Yeah. I can't I can't bunny proppy only only in the thing. But we never normally use the second one, but I use the second one for you. Yeah, that'd be useful. Right? Yeah. It's like if I said down the apples, yeah. Really it should be down the apples and pears, shouldn't it? Stairs. Yeah. I, I knew that one. It's a good gag that some some ice cream freezer said oh, I'm not a true cockney. Yeah. So I pushed him down the apples and oranges. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So now now you growing up right. you became a, a, a drummer and got into music. Yeah. And then you then you were doing like sessions and stuff. Yeah. How did that go about? Uh, yeah, it was good because uh, the ice cream that um, used to book me. Um, it was only down the frog and toad. It was just right. you know, around the corner, down the frog. Yeah. And um, also, he was he was a little bit into the agar for Christie all the time, or the pig's ear. He's always having a pig's ear. Pig's ear. Yeah, pig's ear. Beer. Beer. Yeah. yeah. And uh, he was always. I, I thought he was always Brahms. Right, Brahms and List. Yeah, Brahms. Elephant's trunk. Elephant drunk. Yeah. Is it gone off? Um, Edit. Yeah, because of the uh, ice cream freezer who uh, used to book me. Uh, he only lived round, round the um, round, round the bend, so it, it was good, you know, down the frog, yeah. up the road from the frog. Yeah. So I used to get the jam jar. That's the there. car. Yeah. Yeah. And um, and we used to go and do all these. Um, we used to chirp, a lot of chirping, a lot of chirping on the green gauge. You know, so chirping. Chirping. Is yeah. that singing? Singing. Yeah. Singing. Yeah. Right. Lots of chirping. Yeah. And uh, but he used to like his pig's ear too much, you know. Right. And he always used to finish with. Uh, the Agatha Christie or the Vera Lynn, you know, or yeah. a bicycle spoke with some gin, <laughs> something like that. <laughs> yeah. And we used to get Brahms and, and love it used to really get done. But I did quite a few. One of the ice cream freezers was a very famous man who won the uh, award, won the award for songwriting. Which, who was that? That, that was a, 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 an ice cream called Ben Finden. Oh yeah, Ben Finden, yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Love really hurts without you. Yeah, that's him, yeah, yeah that's the geezer, yeah. yeah, the ice cream. I'm in the mood for dancing. Yeah, that's it, yeah. I, I, you did something on that and all, didn't you? Yeah, I produced a, I produced a version. Yeah. yeah. So, so where did you go from that then? Because you were doing lots of those drum sessions, so then... Yeah. I, I believe there was a very famous band that asked you to join them. Oh yeah, yeah, and then... Um, there was this other ice cream freezer that used to do uh, Joanna, I used to work on the Joanna, you see. Right. On the old um, Joanna. What was his name? His name was Mike Bat. Mike Bat. Yeah, yeah. And, and he was a cock. Bright eyes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I remember, remember that one. Remember you're a Womble, and that's what I, the, I joined. The Wombles? Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. And the Wombles, I mean, they were a sort of kind of um, puppets initially, weren't they? But you sort of kind of brought them alive. Yeah, well, they, they were animated series on the uh, BBC. Yeah. I think. Right. Or the ABC, one of them, anyway. The ABC. <laughs> or CBC. Yeah, and it was written by Liz Beresford. NBC. She was, she was a Richard. Liz Beresford was a very rich... A Richard the Third. Well, Richard the Third can be sometimes confused with an Eartha Kit. Okay. Yeah, because if an you Eartha Kit is what? Well, if you want to go to the uh, Bull and Frog. Yeah. Uh, to the bog, you know. Yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. You want to have oh, right, a, yeah. Right. Have a quick Tom tip. Have a quick Tom tip. Right. Or, or an Urfa. Yeah. Okay, so there was like, remember you're a Womble, wasn't there? Yeah, remember you're a Womble. That was a big hit, wasn't it? Yeah, and and of course the signature song that, that was on the box all the time. Yeah. And all the saucepan lids. Yeah. Right, saucepan lids. They used to love it. Right. You know? but oh, kids. All the kids. Yeah, right, saucepan lids. Yeah. 
But it wasn't only the saucepans, it was also the uh, all the ice cream freezers and the uh, and all the chillers. Yeah, yeah. And then you and ended up doing the front wheel wheelers. Top of the pops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or cabbage drops. Cabbage what? drops. Yeah, we were on cabbage drops. <laughs> I like that one. Cabbage drops. Yeah. yeah. And it was always there was always Richards ran on, on, on top of the pops. Loads of Richards. Oh, you know, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. Well, you never knew how old they were. Really, in those in those days, they used to just come in, come in to, to your loop loop the boom, and um, <laughs> yeah. And they used to get their Germans out, you know, and put them on the eight day clock. The Germans. Yeah. Yeah. The German bands. Oh, oh yeah, right. Gotcha. Yeah, you know, German yeah. bands hanging hanging yeah. off your chalk farm. Yes. Yeah. yeah. On the eight-day clock. On the eight-day clock. Yeah. And there was a lot, of, a, lot, a lot of that went on backstage. Yeah. Oh, unbelievable! I tell you, we nearly missed some of the programs. Really? Yeah. Wow. Because we were like Mariah Monkin all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, after the Wombles, then, then you you sort of kind of drifted onto McBoaty Boaty yeah. McBoat. Yeah. I went international, like I went an international chirper yeah. on the Green Gauge. Yeah. On on the on the Ivan on Stokes. Oh right. On the boats. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. And how was that then? Oh, that was, oh, right. What kind of what kind of act did you do? Well, I sort of done a, like um, a, a Rod Stewart geezer. Oh yeah. See, that's why I got. I'm a little still like it really. I could still do it, but no one's he asked me. For he it. Hence the barnet. Yeah, the barnet with the barnet fair. Yeah. See, and also the boat race. Just a quick wake up, Maggie. All right. Wake up, Maggie, I think I got something to say to you. Oh, You've I got nice bristles and I want to... <laughs> yeah, you know. Have a chew. No, I, I, I can't that's believe good. I just said that. It just suddenly came out. Yeah. But anyway... Well, um, you're a songwriter, you see, that's <laughs> what it is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just natural, isn't it? Uh, okay, so you did that and, yeah. and entertained people all over the world? Yeah, we I, I went I went everywhere on on these on these uh, venues, you know, yeah. chirping on the green gauge, and there was like thousands of, of ice creams, really ice cream freezers, yeah, yeah. And, and with with their with their trouble and strives and their saucepans, right, right, yeah, and there'd probably be about five thousand out there, and you go out there, and they go, oh, hey, it, was, it was such a pleasure, because they're they're already um, uh, have, having a lot of tom fun. Right. right. Yeah. And, and and so it was easy, and they just used to chirp, chirp right. all the rod stuff. Yeah. Do a few gags. Yeah. You know, and, and it was it was really good stuff. Fantastic. Yeah. So you got to see the whole world. I got to see. I got to see. And got paid for it. Yeah. And wherever I went as well, I would I would have friends. Right. You know. Yeah. yeah. I'd have china plates. Right. China plates in every place I went. Plates. Yeah. Yeah. All the chinas. Okay, so then you ended up moving to Australia. Why yeah. was that? Well, from, from the east end of London to Australia, yeah. where they don't really speak English, do they? Well, funny enough, the, the Aussies, when I first went there, and I went there to promote the, the, the Wombles for, for Mike Mahat, you see, for Mike Back. Right, yeah. And uh, he, he gave me a license to go over there and talk as a Womble, and, and so when I got there, everybody in Oz yeah. were talking slang. Same as a company slang, right? And it's called Ocker over there. Okay. Ocker. So give us a bit. Give us a bit of Ocker. Well, there was like the nanny goat, and there was like the uh, the um, wh you know the whistle whistle and flute. Right. The whistle and flute. If you're wearing a yeah, whistle yeah, and flute. So, yeah. Yeah. It was funny because someone said to me, "What what's a geezer called with a whistle and flute on?" Yeah. And I said, I don't know. He said, defend them. <laughs> and, and it was all the, all the same bunny. It was like Cockney rhyming slang, a little bit different. Like yeah. Chalk Farm, obviously, you know, that was for the them. Yeah. And, 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 and they had another one. They had a Warwick Farm, I think. Yeah. So they had different ones, yeah. So the trick is you have to learn what kind of bunny they're doing, don't you, really? You have to get yeah. into the kind of bunny. Yeah, but like there's still bunny in, in my cock. The same to the Aussies because they knew it. Right. So it was actually easier talking to Aussies than a sort of a posh Englishman. Is it water? Oh, vodka. Vodka. It's for you. Okay. So you have got your Aussie talk. You have got you know your East End talk. Oh yeah. Right. And yeah. then you come to Pontia. Yeah. And how did you get on with that? Because like, you know it's a bit difficult communicating anyway. Yeah. Well, I thought that. If I, you know, try to speak English yeah. to uh, a Thai ice cream freezer, right? Uh, it was hopeless. But if I went, if I went something like, especially if you're talking to women, you know, like, 
yeah, you know, yeah, and you do quite a lot of that. The ridges, yeah. the thirds. Yeah, right. Yeah, you say you your boat race very very nice, and your and your barnet fair lovely, and your Bristol, you know, and and you could you could it more a animated. And they would know what you're talking about more than speaking but English. But also, if, if you're with a mate, you can talk certain things yeah. about them. Oh, and they, yeah. Like yeah. you can go Bristol's yeah. left-hand side, 12 o'clock. Yeah. Or 2 o'clock. Oh, yeah, yeah. 2 o'clock, Aris. Cool, Aris. Could you yeah. explain that? 2 o'clock, Aris. 2 o'clock, Aris. Well, it's uh, it's over there. It's just bending down at the moment, you know, and she's got this Aris. But it, <laughs> it's, it's true, because all these words, they don't necessarily mean they don't know what you're talking about. Although well, I do remember one, once I was going up this this moving moving apples apples and pears. Yeah. Apples and pears moving. Yeah. It was moving like that. Yeah. And there was a, there was a Richard III in front of me, right? This yeah. Jimmy Wheeler. Yeah. And she had this lovely Aris. It was unbelievable. Wow. And I shouted out Aris like that. And she actually turned around and said, uh, and she said, do you mind? <laughs> and she was a cockney and she understood what I said. I'm sorry, darling, I didn't know you were a cockney. But you have got a lovely Aris. There you go. So, yeah. You're, you're going to be moving here sometime, right? Aren't you? You're moving to Paddy oh, constantly. But you just do a few gigs here and there, don't you, at the moment? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really want to do a lot because I've done a lot in my life. Mm. And um, I've been on, I've been chirping on the green gauge right. for, for so many, many years now. And all I want to do now is... Uh, you just want to enjoy yourself? Yeah, do nothing. Really. Yeah. I'm sort of a bit... I'm, I'm a lazy ice cream. Have a bit of a current bun. Yeah. Fun. I, wa that, I want to be... Right? A, yeah, current bun. Yeah. Current bun. Get some current bun. Yeah, Get that's right. Current bun. Yeah. I've got, I've got a, a, a couple of bricks and mortars. Right. Right, in, yeah. in Oz. Yeah, and, houses. Uh, they don't really want me to stay here, but if I do stay here, I will pay them to come over right. for a couple of weeks, yeah. every three months, you know. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, brilliant. Sorted. Yeah. Sorted, Sorted, yeah. Right, brilliant stuff. And also, with ice cream freezer, yeah. right, there's sometimes you're, you're somewhere and somebody will say, Stum. Right. Stum. Stum the bunny. Yeah, stum the, but sh means, stum is, a, is, is kind of like a little bit Yiddish, isn't it? Yeah, stum, stum. the bunny. Yeah. There's a lot of Yiddish in Cockney, actually. Kosher. Because a lot, lot of Jewish, a lot of Jewish. Of course there is. Yeah, a lot, lot of 4B2s, a lot of front-wheel skids. Right. Just, yeah. yeah. And sometimes you'll be somewhere that's important and you're doing a bit of bunny with, with your with your china plate. Right. And he'll say, stum the bunny, and I'll say, why? And he'll go, ice cream. That means ice cream freezer coming in right and you can actually say to him what sort of ice cream and if he says Iger yeah that means it's the top ice cream it's the highest ice cream oh. in other words and some of a, a lot of this TI ice cream stum that means the top well I think we better stum now better right? stum, and, yeah. and 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 do a bit of kibosh now kibosh what's the, what's the word a skive off yeah yeah well just the schmites oh yeah well maybe we should Stum now. Yeah, right? and do a quick schmites. Quick schmites. Quick schmites down the road. Yeah. But before that, we've got a football match to watch. I'm very excited to watch yeah. this match, actually. Here we go. Dolphins United. Do a patty of Dolphins United. Yeah. And uh, we're on their side, aren't we? Don't matter what, what team we have in the UK. No, nah, don't matter. Everything here is... Patio! Dolphins! Chunk D-Cup! <laughs>